hey guys once again welcome to our channel hopefully you guys are doing great in today's video we will be dealing with a new concept and that as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail the concept that we're going to deal with in today's video is electron shells so it's a new concept that we have to discuss in today's video but before we just rush into the topic um we just jump into the topic let's just have a look at the syllabus So yeah, according to our syllabus, we have discussed um, isotopes, defining isotopes. Uh, we discussed the types of isotopes, their medical and industrial uses, and then etc. etc. Why the isotopes uh, display the same characteristics of the same element display the same char chemical characteristics. So we discussed all that in our previous videos. Make sure you just check, check them out. Um, in today's video, the concept, the important concept that we're going to deal with is about shells and we're going to discuss the second point that's the describing the buildup of electrons in shells and understand the significance of the noble gas electronic structures of the outer shell electrons the ideas are the distribution of electrons in snp orbitals in a d-block elements are not required so in this part of the video so uh, i will be dividing the video into two parts where we'll be discussing um the different uh, ways in we can in which we can deduce the electronic configuration so in this video we'll be dealing with the first part moving on to the topic electronic structure now um, we can represent the structure of an atom in two ways uh, either we can use diagrams and specifically electron shell diagrams or we can write out a special notation and that's called the electronic configuration you may have heard this word several times but yeah i know most of us um don't exactly know what is it so let's just discuss in detail electron shell diagrams so we know these electrons these are negatively charged particles that are orbiting the nucleus in shells or we can say energy levels or a more um high five world that's the principal quantum shells all right or principal quantum energy levels and these shells each shell has a different amount of energy associated with it you know as we move as we move um, as the atomic number of the elements increases their shells keep on increasing as we go down the group and um, their shells keep on their energy levels keep on increasing okay and so the energy of the shells also increase with increasing principal quantum number all right now the further away from the nucleus the more energy a shell has as we discussed earlier that a further uh, for example if we have uh, if you're going down the group you will notice that the shells keep on increasing by one and so the energy of the shell will also increase Electrons occupy the shells closest to the nucleus, which can hold only two electrons and which go in separately. So this is an important point that should be taken into account that um, electrons are filled in order of energy levels, in order of the lowest energy to the highest energy. And there's a maximum, there's a restriction on electrons, on the number of electrons each shell can have. So you guys are still limited to that the first shell can hold up to only two electrons and the rest of the shell can hold up to eight electrons all right so when a shell becomes full the electrons fill then fill the next shell and this example we'll be seeing in a moment that how it does that the second shell can hold eight electrons and the third shell can also hold eight electrons and electrons organize themselves in pairs in these shells in the first shell, it doesn't happen that they do, they do not uh, enter the shell in pairs, but in rest of the shells where we have eight electrons, it divides them into pairs. All right. So, for example, we will be having two each um, in, a, in a shell. The outermost shell of an atom is called the valence shell, and the electrons present there are called the valence electrons. And an atom is much more stable if it can manage to completely fill this shell with electrons. Now, you may have heard in your grade 8 or grade 9 that um, noble gases are the most stable atoms because they, their electrons, their outer shell, their valence shell is completely filled. Moving on. Here's an example of uh, how the representation, the diagrammatic representation looks like for the arrangement of electrons in an atom. 
So we can see that the electrons closest to the nucleus is this one. Where my cursor is pointing, you can see this is the closest to the nucleus and it can hold up to only two electrons. All right. So it can accommodate a fixed number of electrons, each electron shell and first shell can hold up to eight electrons. The second shell you can see here, it organizes themselves in pairs and it can hold up to eight electrons. Likewise, for the third shell, we have eight electrons and it can divide itself into pairs. That's, that's it for today's video. We have covered the first part of the video in which we discussed uh, how we can represent the electronic structure, how we can um, rep represent the electronic structure of an atom in two ways. The first way we have discussed in today's video and hopefully uh, in the next video we'll be discussing the next way. Till then, take care. Um, if you're not subscribed to our channel and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment down below. So as per your suggestions, we can upload the videos. Uh, we can improve our content. So that's it. Cheers.